So. Okay, what's up? How's your mom handling this week? I don't know, mom handling this week. I think she handling it well. Right now, she's just in the process of getting a bunch of tickets for the game. So we'll see as the week goes on how stressed or excited she gets. <laughs> so we'll see. What were some of those battles like during high school against uh, against your brother? I guess he was the one throwing the ball, but uh, yeah. who won most of those? I mean, I like to think I did, but you know, I always told him if I get a chance to play against you. All the times you told on me, wore my clothes, because he's bigger than me. So I think around middle school, you start wearing my clothes, wearing my shoes. So I told him, if I get a chance to hit you, and I could do it without getting in trouble, I'm going to take every opportunity I can take. How much uh, you know, back and forth has there been, maybe not necessarily this week, or if there has been this week, but leading up to this, you know, this season? Oh, I mean, leading up to it ever since. Ever since he, he, he thought he was getting a little bit bigger you know, when he got to college. You know, he been saying he gonna run me over if he see me on the sideline. He not gonna step out of bounds. You know, I told him, you know, you you can try. It. I'm, I'm still older than you. Like, you still got little boy strength. I'm, I'm grown. You know, so uh, I'm just waiting. I'm, I'm just, I ain't, I ain't even gonna say nothing to him this week. I'm not gonna text him. I'm not gonna call him. I don't wanna see. I might block him on all my social media. I don't wanna <laughs> see it. Only thing I wanna think about is if I see him, he gonna feel all. 18 years of us living together. Uh, on a positive note, <laughs> you, <laughs> you're a guy that had to wait your turn. What advice have you given him while he's kind of doing the same thing in Mississippi State? Uh, I'm just telling him, like, you got to stay focused. Um, you can't let the situation, you know, you really don't got no control outside of what you do on the field, what you do on the practice field, or whenever you get in games. So, you know, just keep, just keep focusing on the little things. Keep showing the coaches you care. Go to film, do the extra things especially at quarterback, you know, kind of like when Jalen uh, Hurts was here freshman year and it was him, I think Blake, you know, you got to do the things as a quarterback to win over the team. So I tell him all the time, like, the little things that, you know, you might not think is important, that might be something that wins over somebody in the locker room. So you got to do those things also. I want to go back to the mom's stress meter when, when can you tell when she's really feeling it? I can tell when she's feeling it because she'll, she'll call me and then text me. So she'll text me in the morning, and then I'll respond. She'll call me before practice, and she'll text me after practice, and then she'll call at night. That's when I know her stress me in up there. So this week you're expecting about 10 phone calls a day? Yeah, I'm expecting the phone calls to be up there. Okay. So aside from the war <laughs> being on, uh, what does Mississippi State you know, present, especially running back Colin Hill, the challenge of defending him, tackling him? Yeah, I mean, Mississippi State, they have a good offense. You know, the running back, Colin Hill, you know, he's elusive, shifty. You know, he's kind of a short and more squatty, powerful guy. So, you know, when you hit him, you got to bring your feet. And then we got to, you know, rally guys to the ball and you know, get some knockback tackles. But, you know, I'm excited. You know, it's a, another good running back we get to see. So, you know, you should be developing your skills this week so you can use them, you know, to go out there and, and uh, you know, go out there and tackle him. This, especially as a secondary, what did y'all learn from watching the film from the, the last game, and just kind of what what can you improve on do, moving forward? Um, watching the film from the last game, you get to see how you know the mess up when you mess up in a secondary. You know, it's something that really is um, that's something that people really see. You know, you don't always get to see the D line, you know, or the linebackers. You don't see when they jump out their gaps, but if somebody in the secondary misses a tackle, usually. You're the last person in line defense, so you know your mistakes in the secondary really get highlighted. You know when people watch the games, but from the game, all you can take away for real is um, you know the importance of your angles when you come in and when you tackling. You can't be overrunning the runner, and also like just because the first guy makes contact, the second guy you can't slow up. You know you need to be able to knock him back. You know get more guys around the ball. You know trying to hit the runner. Xavier has talked about and you know, players have really uh, opponents opposing offenses change things up, do stuff that y'all don't expect. Mm -hmm. Is there an anticipation of that sometimes in games, or, or do you just kind of how can you deal with that if you don't prepare for something that they're throwing at you? I mean, you know, that is something that's kind of hard, kind of challenging because you know we're gonna get we'll always get people's best game. Like nobody ever just says okay, we got Alabama. No, it's I want to make a statement against Alabama. So, you know, a lot of times they don't do what, what we've seen on film or what they've done against other people. Um, what you try to do is take what your your base rules and you try
try to apply them as much as you can. But you know, sometimes out on the field, you know, it's going kind of fast. So you, you know, you probably thinking one thing, somebody else thinks thinking another, and that's when you got to communicate. You know, get everybody on the same page so that way, you know, busting coverages don't happen. And and when you play good players, you know, mental errors are like little mistakes. Like that turns into points. You know, it's not like playing against a, a team you. Sh like not as good our team you should be that if you make a mistake it's like okay well we can fix it but now when you play good teams and you make a mistake those turn into touchdowns people Is outside the program might be a little bit surprised to see the numbers that smith is putting up and just the role that he has in offense what have you seen from him since last season man i've been i've been guarding smitty when since he first came in when i when i was still playing corner so i mean i always knew how good he was i feel like everybody i mean if you don't know Devontae Smith's name by now, you still think he's a he's one of the lesser receivers, or he's a third receiver in the core, like you probably need to wake up because he runs routes, he doesn't take a lot of time running his routes, he gets into his routes, he blocks, he finishes runs, you know, he competes, you go out there and compete, compete some practice too. Bet like hands, jumping. I mean Smitty I mean Smitty like he one of the top receivers in, in, in the nation. I mean, like we got all, our three receivers, our four receivers, are the four best receivers in the nation, in my opinion. Is there an extra emphasis on, uh, I don't know how to say it, but winning pretty this week and w with you know your game kind of being scrutinized now by the committee? Uh, I mean, not really winning pretty, but um, you know we're trying to go out there and dominate, but that's nothing that hasn't changed over the course of the season. Like we feel like we should go out there and be able to dominate any team that that's put in front of us. So uh, I know everybody's focusing on that, you know. You know, especially since the mistakes that we have made um, last week, we need to go out there and clean up those mistakes so now we can put on an even more dominant performance. How's that locker room? How's that locker room? Like this, this in practice, on the on practice field, in the locker room, what has it been like in the last few days after that loss? Uh, I feel like you can you can tell a little bit more sense of urgency in some of the players. Um, you know, not a lot of scrutiny is going on in the locker room. You know, everybody's coming together. Everybody realizes that now is the time we need to come together as a team and put all our energy towards trying to be as perfect as we can be. When you look back at the week of practice leading up to LSU and even like right before the game, was there any like how what what was the team's mindset like? In, in hindsight, is there anything that was maybe like a sign or something that wasn't as it should have been? No, nah, there was no sign. Everybody was still, you know, like I said, we were still trying to focus on dominating the the, the opponent. You know, at the end of the day, that was a faceless opponent, and we try to go in there and dominate. But you know, like I said, mistakes that you can't have, you know, they happen. So you know, there was no sign. Um, you know, we're just trying to dominate, and now we got to take take that and, and put it into this week of practice. What's your last one? Another? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.